I can't believe that I'm actually saying these words, but today we're unboxing and testing out what just might be the absolute best vlogging camera that there is ever. This is the Sony ZV-1, also known as a vlogger's dream. It finally exists. I've waited long enough for you. I'm opening it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Now we still have the same battery as the RX100, which is the NPBX1 battery. So that's great news, no new batteries. It also comes with this windscreen, which actually fits very nicely in the multi-interface shoe. So it slides in there and there you go. That's great and we're gonna talk more about that. But first, what makes this little tiny camera perfect for vlogging? Oh, they did it! It flips out. Like me flipping out, the screen flips out. Doesn't flip down, doesn't flip up. There's nothing wrong with flipping up, but when it flips up, then the microphone covers the screen, flips out. The next thing, it has a multi-interface shoe. I have the Sony stereo microphone, which I've been using, and this is incredible because now I don't need a wire. It will just automatically recognize this with the multi-interface shoe, and I can now have audio. Previously, with the RX100 Mark VII, which has been my go-to camera, it flips up. There's nowhere to put um, a microphone, so I had to have a cage of which I would attach the microphone. Then I have to use the audio jack because there was no such thing as a multi-interface shoe. So now with the Sony ZV-1, we don't have to worry about that. Oh my gosh. This is such a small thing that makes such a difference. The large record button. It's not like back here and hidden where it used to be. It's on top where it makes sense. So I don't have an SD card with me, but the good news is I actually have the vlogger kit, which I can unbox, and it has an SD card inside there. Inside the vlogger kit, we have a 64 gig SD card, and we also have the wirelessly controlled shooting grip, which I actually haven't tested out yet, and I'm excited to. Now that we have an SD card, we can show you guys one of the best features of this camera other than the flip out screen. It shows right here that we are still recording. Let's open up the wireless shooting grip. This can actually hold the bigger mirrorless cameras too, which is kind of impressive. Put in our microphone, flip out our screen, turn on our camera, we're ready to go. So this vlogger accessory kit containing the wireless shooting grip as well as the SD card can actually be purchased separately for $149.99. And the Sony ZV-1 will actually be priced at $749.99 until June 28th, and then it'll be priced at $799.99. So if you buy before June 28th, you can actually get a $50 discount. The screen also does rotate, which I wasn't sure until I started to turn it and it wanted to go, so I was like, please don't break off. Let's go outside into the real world and test out some of these features and test out what just might be the most incredible vlogging camera. Let's go. So we are finally outside and we're gonna be testing out the Sony ZV-1. Now one of the features that I'm obsessed with is that you can add this windscreen. It attaches right here to the multi-interface. So when I don't have a microphone on, I'm probably gonna have this on because today it is very, very, very windy. We have the Sony wireless shooting grip. It is already connected to the camera. It can rotate 180 degrees, which is great. So you don't have to worry about turning your camera around. You can just flip the screen. But realistically, I'm gonna be shooting mostly like this so that I can see myself and see what we're talking about. I do not have on an external mic. I only have on the windscreen, which I have to say, huge fan of already. I'm so curious to see how this sounds. But we're just gonna be walking around. I got the mask for when we are close to people. We are still practicing our social distancing or else I would be in Utah filming this review. I'm going to Utah and I'm excited because this is gonna be the perfect camera for it. So let's talk about some of the new features. One of the things I loved about the Sony RX100 Mark V was that it had the built-in ND filter. And guess what? This camera has the built-in ND filter. Another really cool feature that it has is the background defocus. It can actually real time adjust the aperture to make a either clear background or a fuzzy background to give that whole nice bokeh effect. Right now I have it so it's a clear background, but in a press of a button, we can then have the defocus. So as you guys can see, it got a little fuzzy. Okay, now let's turn it off and it's clear. 
Another feature that isn't new to Sony, but is the high frame rate. We have the 240 frames per second, the 480 frames per second, and the super slow-mo of 960 frames per second. It is the next day and Justine and I decided to go for a bike ride. I went for one the other day down to the beach and it was so much fun and so peaceful, but I got like an earache from the wind. So that's why I'm wearing a more aggressive helmet today. Also these bikes go like 28 miles per hour. So like that's pretty fast. But something on this camera that I wanted to test out was steady shot. So I'm gonna see how it can handle the steadiness of a bumpy bike path. All right, so we've made it to our halfway point. We were gonna go a little bit further, but we decided that was enough for today. But I think we're gonna head back now, right? Yeah. Also, it's, a so, it's so windy at the beach, and I do have on the little wind cover, so I have no idea what this is gonna sound like, but it's really, really windy. So a few tips before you just open up a camera and start to use it. Always check to make sure that it's in the format that you want. For example, it's always standard on Sony's that it's just HD and not 4K if it does have that option. So make sure you change it to 4K. Another thing, I just started filming and completely forgot that the new beauty mode was on. So beauty mode is a thing and there's a low, mid, and high. And the whole previous video up to this was shot in mid and I'm editing and I was like, wow, I look flawless. So I wanted to show you guys the difference between the modes. This right here is shot in low. Low beauty. This is the mid beauty level. Let's see what high looks like. And this is the high beauty. It's actually called soft skin effect, so it really softens your skin, which is gonna be really nice when I'm all sweaty and on hikes and gross. I'll probably stick to using it on low because even before watching my vlog up to this point, it was on medium and I look just beautiful. And you know what? Quarantine has actually aged me tremendously, so I don't wanna lie to you. Let's switch back to low. One of my favorite features about this camera is the product showcase. There is an option where you can turn on product showcase and it will quickly switch focus between the object and your face. So say I'm doing an unboxing and I wanna show you guys the product that I'm talking about. For this example, it is going to be a succulent. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with product showcase on and product showcase off. The autofocus is still really fast and pretty good, but as you can see, it's just a little bit faster with the product showcase on. So that's a really, really cool, practical, and useful feature. And another thing that I've always been a huge fan of is sunset time lapses. I haven't seen a sunset in two months, so I think what I really need is to go test out the interval shooting function and also see the sunset. I'm so excited. Made it to one of my favorite places here in Palos Verdes. I'm sure if you guys have been watching for a while, you will recognize it. It's been a very, very long time since I've been here or really been anywhere for that matter. Right now I am just using the windscreen, no additional external microphone. I'm just out here vlogging, it kind of feels normal, like things used to be before the world shut down. It's very, very loud, but honestly, if the sound of the waves is the worst thing that's ruining the audio, I'm cool with it. I wanna do a little comparison to see how the RX100 versus the new Sony ZV-1. So let's do a little test. Right now we're just doing a comparison to see what it looks like versus the RX100 Mark VII. This camera does not have an ND filter, whereas this one has the built-in filter. It is so bright right now. So now that the sun is directly behind me, I feel like this is a good example of how the new auto exposure feature works. Basically what it does, it, it keeps the exposure on your face, where you guys can see the exposures on my face. Whereas here, you can kind of see the background still a little bit exposure on my face but this keeps the focus on your face it's pretty cool I've taken off the windscreen so I'm curious to see how we sound super windy super loud oh that's scary I forgot how to adventure it's been so long
that sunset interval time lapse, climbing back up. I even got to fly the drone. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute since I've done all these things, but it feels good to be back. Well, not back yet, but it feels good to be making outdoor content again. The sun has already set and look how bright my face is. This camera is my absolute favorite. So to wrap up this video, I wanna talk about the pros and the cons of this camera and just an overall first impressions of the Sony ZV-1. I have to say, without question, this is my favorite camera. So let's talk about some of the pros versus the cons. For the pros, I love the product showcase feature. The face priority auto exposure is also really impressive. It also has the advanced color science, which now you can have the soft skin effect. The multi-interface shoe is huge for me. It's probably number one on the list. There is still the audio input, but now that this alleviates it because I can just use my stereo microphone like I'm using right now to record this, it's nice because you also still have the ability if you want to use any other external mics, you can still plug it into the audio jack, but this, is simple and compact and I love having the Malta interface shoe. And the windscreen was surprisingly something I didn't realize I needed. I always just kind of avoided it because I didn't want to like tape it or glue it on. So the fact that this custom windscreen fits so perfectly, chances are I'm gonna be using that the majority of the time because that makes it even more thin and compact. I don't know why this wasn't number one on the list, but the flip out screen, I can now see myself also have my external microphone or the windscreen and nothing is being blocked. I also love that it does the 180 degree turn and when you close it, you could actually protect your screen that way. If you leave it shut with the screen facing inside, that way the back is covered. This is, makes it so much easier for throwing in my backpack or my purse and that way I don't have to worry about the screen getting scratched. And if you're done recording and you shut it with the screen inside, it actually turns off the camera as well. So that's a little feature that I didn't know I needed. I also love the easy to hold grip. The RX100 was really slippery and very flat, so I love that this has a nice grip. The recording light in the front to let you know that you are still recording. And there's also a no 4K record limit. There's a feature if you turn the temperature too high, it will let you record 4K, I guess, until the battery dies or you run out of space. Obviously, it might not be the best if you're shooting in high heat, but if you're gonna be shooting anything inside temperature controlled, it's probably safe to do that. So I have changed that setting and we are recording it for sure longer than five minutes, which is when the other cameras used to shut off. Now some of the cons, there is no headphone jack if you want to monitor audio, but that's a tiny minor thing that I'm okay without. There's also no viewfinder or flash with this camera. With the RX100 series, I very, very rarely ever use the viewfinder or ever use the flash. If I did, it would pop out an accident and I was like, oh, I forgot you were even there. So the fact that they were able to leave those off and incorporate everything that us vloggers have wanted, it's perfect. So this video was not sponsored at all. They did give me a review unit and I really have to say that I'm obsessed. You guys are constantly saying like, what's the perfect vlogging camera? And I can finally say without any uncertainty that this is it. The price point is very, very reasonable and I feel like that's how much I used to pay for like the G7Xs back in the day. It has the one inch sensor just like the RX100 series and I just really am so happy and proud of Sony for finally doing it. That's gonna be it for this video. If you want some more technical videos, I know my friends have also posted some really cool reviews, so make sure you check out all of their channels. There's more information in the description if you guys want to order this camera. Stay tuned for some more fun videos. I cannot wait to get out and create content. This camera has honestly inspired me and I'm, I'm just excited. I've been talking for nine minutes and it didn't shut off. Woo! <laughs> I'm pumped.